Hi there. Looks like it's some connection problems. Uh, let me check if it's this live stream is still working. Okay, looks like it's still working. So, um, I will tell you a little bit about this design. This is uh, our July pattern of the month. And if you are subscribed to my Patreon, you can choose a pattern or kit subscription. And you can get this uh, pattern and transfer to your fabric if you want only digital pattern. And you can subscribe to my kit and I will send you the full kit with all needed materials which you are going to need. Uh, let me show you the kit, how it looks like. So I'm, for my patrons I'm sending this cute box. And it has a short instruction for the fabric and heating erasable ink. I'm transferring my pattern to the fabric using heating erasable pen, which uh, the ink, this is a gel ink, which disappears on heating. This is similar ink like um, Pilot Friction Pen, if you know this pen. So we can use it for pattern transferring. And in the end, when you finish stitching this, you don't need to wash your fabric. You just uh, heat it using a hair dryer or iron and all the lines will disappear. So this is what I like about it. So you will have fabric and hoop with already transferred pattern on it. On it. Also, you will have a cute candies and a few more candies. This is Ukrainian candies, they are so uh, tasty, you will try it. And you will also have a set of embroidery needles with a big eye and sharp edge. They are different uh, needle sizes. What is the name of my pen? The name of my pen is Student Accent. Student Accent. This is pen which I use. It's a little bit cheaper than Pilot Friction, but it works exactly the same way. So I like them. And they look cute. And you will also have a 24, uh, 24 skeins of uh, embroidery floss um, so this is they are bright for this project they are so bright and colorful and you will also have felt this is for backing your hoop you can cut the square and when you will finish you will just um, finish your hoop and uh, sew, sew the back of this hoop and it will look cute so um, this is how you can back your hoop I make it tight on the back I cut all the uh, fabric that I don't need and then I can sew uh, on top of this uh, piece of felt so this is will uh, look cute and nice and you can uh, present it as a gift or something else and it will be ready to hang on the wall. So this is what you will get when you subscribe for my kit on uh, Patreon. Okay, let's start working on this project. I will cut all the thread that I don't need. You will also have an additional piece of fabric this is cotton fabric to um, you can stitch on both of fabrics because um, the top 
fabric which uh, you are going to be working with it's a little bit silky and it's not stable in the hoop so when you hoop two fabrics at the same time you can you don't need to worry about like uh, tightening your hoop again and again it will sit probably pro properly and um, I feel comfortable when I use two fabrics and it's not transferred at all so I also I also what I did with my inner hoop I binded it with uh, just cotton fabric I cut it for and um, I binded it and this is uh, comfortable for me to stitch with this hoop so this is hoop which I'm working with and there are other hoops which I will use for framing. What's the fabric called? Let me uh, double check. I don't know if the live stream is still going, if it's still working. Yeah, I see it's working. So I will let you know what the fabric is gabardine. I don't know if you have such fabric in the uh, United States and other countries, but it's gabardine. I will type it in the chat. So this is uh, gabardine. I like it because um, I like how it's how my needle goes through this fabric and it's so easy and smooth and it doesn't make such a noise and sound. So I like to use it. So I was thinking which I which piece I will start from and I will start from this. From the object weeks which are uh, far away and then I will be moving to the objects which are like uh, on top of like uh, closer to me like to create a 3d effect and um, so this will it will be comfortable to stitch object by object and here I will be using four pink colors this is gamma threads this is local threads uh, which are available in ukraine and it's made probably it's made in russia but i like them because it's it has a uh, good quality it's sometimes it's be even better than dmc but uh for you um if you are, you will be using my PDF pattern. You will have also color map in, and color palette for DMC as well, and for gamma as well. So there will be two color maps for both brands. Let me show you the colors, the color map. So. This is it. I'm still working on it. I'm trying to remove the black lines and show you exa exact colors which I am going to be using for uh, for most of the background and outlining and I will also will make um, arrows and uh, specify colors uh, right in this picture as well. And this is part we I'm going to be working on right now so I will be using long and short shading technique for this so colors I'll, I, they will be going to each other so those three colors are for the stamps and those are go to, going to be this light uh, color and it, I will use um, lazy daisy stitch and probably I will use all six strands of floss and for long and short shading I will be using 
two strands. Okay, so let's start from, oh, um, for you, for convenient, you can uh, mark which colors are going to and where. So it's going to be light. We will start from the light color and they are going here and here. And I'm just marking for myself where I'm going to be using this color. And then I will be marking when I will be switching to another colors. So this way I will not be looking to the color map while I'm stitching. I'm going to be using right now this uh, hoop stand. This is modified hoop stand. This part is modified by my husband. And this part is... Uh, I bought it. And if you need this hoop stand, I can share the links with you. I found it on Etsy, so it's probably... Um, they are selling worldwide. It's not a commercial it's like uh, I just like this hoop stand but I don't I can't find it in my country uh, I would like to sell it for you as well but I just can't find it so um, I will cut the strap the, the fabric which I want need so it's going to be more comfortable when I will be stitching So it's uh, about two inches outside of the hoop. So how are you doing guys? What do you usually do during the summer? We usually go to the sea on weekends, and but the sea a little bit cold. I wasn't even be able to swim. So it's a little bit sad because I just I can only <laughs> look at the sea and I can just go in and swim. But the weather is hot here in Ukraine and sometimes it's a little bit cold but it's only for one or two days and then it's also hot again okay so I'm, I'm ready for stitching I'm going to start from the light color. This is gamma and let me see. Um, let me open the color palette to see which DMC was this. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, if you use DMC, so this is uh, three, six, 08 TMC 3608 and I'm gonna use two strands you can also use three strands if you want if you like using three strands it's okay you can use it So I'm separating one strand and I'm split, um, putting this together and in the end I have a loop like this and um, we will start stitching from the loop. 
Okay, I need to choose the middle. No, this is too long. Uh, yeah, so Melanie, that you are, uh, you also join us teaching along, and this is also for Sia creatures. So I'm starting from the loop on the back side, and I'm going through this loop right here on the back, if you can see. You can start from the loop on from the front as well. And that stitching along I saw it. It's beautiful. I would also would like to join, but I have no time. And it uses uh, so many stitches and uh, the final work will be so so textured. I will also would like to 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 make it uh, to use different textures and um, so there is going to be French knots, uh, chain stitch as well, lazy daisies, long and short, satin stitch, outlining. Yeah, this is a little bit uh, mine stitch stitch along is also a little bit challenging and but it's but it's not complicated I think because I will use simple stitches it just uh, the whole design is uh, a little bit detailed but it's it's gonna look great. I have one more design. It's uh, cactuses and succulents, and um, and many people they are also beginners and they stitch at this and uh, they like it and it turns out great because I have a lot of videos about it and uh, they love it and it became a bestseller so this one is similar to this one and I would like also create one more design is um, crystals or something like that And for my design, you can also um, use blue fabric, which will display a water, or you can uh, color it using watercolors or maybe some pencils, if you want to make it like a uh, <laughs> I, I forgot the word, sorry. <laughs> I sometimes forgot the words because English is not uh, my native language. Okay, I finished it for this part and I will move to this. So you can uh, do long and short stitches, so you can do just a uh, satin stitch and don't mix the colors, it will also look great, so you can do whatever you are comfortable with.
I will also make outlining when I will finish. I never stitched fishes. But I think it's going to be uh, simple. I'm not going to use any complicated stitches. It's just going to be satin stitch and that's it. Nothing complicated. If you have some questions, you can ask me in this chat, so I will be telling you something while I'm stitching, and it's not going to be so boring. <laughs> so cactuses and succulents, uh, it was our uh, August pattern of the month uh, last year it was one of my first um, designs and months on patreon so and it has seven video tutorials and this one will also have many video tutorials so um, we will try to stitch every single uh, object from this pattern with you Okay, so um, I will finish this color here and I will switch to another one. I will pull out the thread here for later. I will finish it later on the back. So I will switch to another color. This is Gamma and let me... Uh -huh. And this is DMC thirty eight zero four. So I continue using two strands only.
and I will start from the loop and I will show you how to start from the front side. So you make one stitch, you go through the loop and you need the same hole where you did your stitch and the loop became on the back side and it's your thread is fixed, you can continue stitching. So if you are lazy, you don't want to switch the hoop to the back and to the front, you can start stitching from the front. Hold on, I will open my window because it's so hot here. Oh, we will be listening to the birds. And there can be some sounds from my neighborhood and my dog asking for some snacks outside. Basically, this is how I wanted to stitch this part, but you can use just uh, only setting stitch and don't uh, mix and colors. You can just stitch and make uh, stripes. It doesn't even uh, matter. It's not critical. And I'm switching to this color. I forgot that maybe you don't see all the details clearly, so this is... I will zoom it a little bit. 
so I'm going to be switching to this color this is gamma threads and I will let you know the DMP The DMC is uh, 3803. 3803. And this is gamma. I didn't make. I usually have my thread binded on uh, on bobbins so bobbins they look like this and as i use gamma threads so uh, this is dmc and this is gamma on the back side so this is how i understand which color is dmc for gamma So basically, this is how you fill the stems for this coral, just changing the color and doing the same over and over. I will stitch with this color a little bit and I will switch to the lazy daisies to show you how to do lazy daisy stitch and you can also use one strand and it gives you a lot more smooth transition with colors if you use one strand it's always will give you a better result than just two strands or three strands and you will see the difference you just uh, try and you will see I already like how it looks like right now. I think I will be stitching on weekends and show you the final result of the stamps because it um, it takes time actually to fill this and. I wish I could speed it up <laughs> and make stitching faster, but this is the real time stitching live stream, so so.
So when you are trying to mix the colors, uh, don't be afraid to go between the stitches right in the middle. You can also right in the middle go and split the stitches from the previous color and extend it further. So uh, then you will have uh, a gradient. And you need to make long and short stitches and go closer and farther and yeah, variate them and just like I do. See, I go right in the middle of the place where I already stitched we using this another color. And this way I'm mixing those two colors. So basically you will need to change the colors, um, two colors, the bright pink and dark pink, see, so um, changing two colors and continue moving to the down and you will feel it. I will back to these stamps a little bit later, but uh, right now I want to show you how to make lazy daisies. I'm using the lightest pink and for gamma it's this number and This is 6605 for DMC. So DMC is 605 and this is color for gamma threads. And I'm going to use all six strands. And for this I need the needle with big eye. I think this one is going to be good for this. You can do this way. Let me show you. And I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, this is how I do it. Let's try. Oh no, we need a bigger eye. Let's see. This is a big enough. <laughs> Let's try this needle. I always wanted to try this method. So 
not really good I need to press a little bit more looks like and squeeze it here and I did it so this time I will make a knot probably So you need to go down in the same place where you went out, you make a loop like this. And then you come up here and you go through this loop. And you have a nice petal and I need to fix it outside of this loop and lazy daisy stitch looks like this so I need to make few more lazy daisies Here we go, it's simple beginner stitch, you can use it make, to make uh, little flowers, teeny leaves, If you are struggling to to thread six strands, you can use needle threader. Let me find it. So with needle threader, it's easier to thread your needles. And doesn't matter how many strands you are going to use, I use this needle threader sometimes. Let me show you how it works. So if you have six strands of loss and you don't have such a big ne needle, you have, for example, this one. And you can also thread it with needle threader. So you need to go through your loop, then you need to oh my god, <laughs> it's already split it for so many threads. It's not really comfortable, but originally it's going to look like like this. So you go through the loop, oh my god, like this, and then you just pull it through your needle, oh, it doesn't work, too small eye, it's not gonna work for this needle. But it's gonna work for the big needle from this DMC set. 
so you just choose the, the biggest one and you can work with it let's try it should work here we go Okay, one flower is done. And you just switch, switch to another plate to continue another flower because you have still have a thread to, to stitch with. So embroidery is not really complicated, it just takes time. can be a little bit hard to go through the same place where you already stitch it but corals are so different and they are so bright I was really I was thinking what which corals I want to stitch the most because there are so many corals to choose from and colors and this design reminds me that my vacation in Egypt last year and all of those beautiful fishes This is so sad that I can't go on vacation right now. I would like to go to the same to that place again and again because because all of those cor corals and fishes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, I never stitch it on public. <laughs> I don't know why, because probably because I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I work from home, and if I need to go somewhere, there is. Uh, I don't need to wait so but I'm stitching on my backyard on the fresh fresh air and this is so relaxing and peaceful you just stitching and listen to the birds And uh, 
You know, here in Ukraine, people think that there is no virus and they don't want to wear masks at all. So that's why I don't go anywhere because people are not wearing masks and it's not safe. You can also use variated threads, it will give you a variety of colors and it's gonna look cool, I think. If you have some variated or multicolor threads, go ahead uh, and use it, because it's gonna g give you a really cool effect. Let me show you the threads which I have. you can use one of those threads and uh, it's gonna really really cool this one is could be really nice with this or this one And also for the stamps, you can also use variated threads. So um, you can start from the light, li light part and just doing long and short stitches, moving to the down and the color will be changing itself and you don't need to switch uh, the thread. And it's really cool. You can try. You'll see it. Why I didn't think about it? I just figured out <laughs> right now. So this is an idea for you. If you have some uh, variated threads, you can implement it this way. Maybe a little bit afraid of stitching on public because I'm afraid that somebody or many of them will come and start asking what I'm doing, what is that? And <laughs> as a result, I will not stitch anything. I will just be telling them what I'm doing and why I'm doing here. I usually stitch without a uh, hoop stand, so um, I use hoop, ta hoop stand when I'm recording live stream or videos like this. Yeah, th that's why I'm not stitching on public, because I feel that somebody is looking at me and what I'm doing, and, and it's not, I don't know, this is weird. You know when you stitch somewhere on public you can make a selfie and and 
and we can make a, a challenge I'm still working on my self-confidence. I'm still getting... I'm trying to uh, record myself and uh, get used to it. I think I am already got used to my voice, but not fully got used to, to see myself on, a, on the video. But I need to work on it because before I I thought that my my voice is weird, but now I I, I think it's okay. So this is just a practice in facing your fear. Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> Uh, you know, I like myself more and more because I'm losing my weight. I also I already lose it five kilograms from the start of my diet. Uh, I started it a month ago, and I'm really satisfied. And I'm gonna continue because I need to lose seven more kilograms. Okay, so I will leave it here. So basically, this is how it's going to be working. So, as I explained it earlier, you just switching between those two colors, bright pink and dark pink, light pink only on the edges, and the lightest pink for the da lazy daisies and you will do it so I was thinking to finish my live stream right now but maybe I will stitch a little bit more with you let's continue stitching the stamps Okay, I'm, I'm gonna switch to the smaller needle. See, sometimes your needle become black. So this is because of your fingers, they are sometimes wet so, and needle becomes black. That's okay, you can change your needle to the new one and continue stitching. But Truth be told, I'm afraid to to throw out my my threads because I'm afraid that somebody will <laughs> will be hurt. I don't know how to utilize needles. What do you think? What do you do with uh, with needles which you don't need, which already is is useful is useless sorry how do you throw them out Mel Melanie said that she set an alarm and they that's why she was able to join the stitch along. Congratulations! <laughs> I was missing you, Melanie. Is it too early for you in your area at this time? Do you usually sleep?
it's actually 4 p.m. in Ukraine and it's and now it's 5 p.m. so I still have some daylight but if it's going to be later the, cra the camera will give me the blue color on my videos and and there is going to be less and less daylight what is the reason of your insomnia? is that some cat? <laughs> My cat sometimes doesn't give me to sleep well. They are asking for food or they are asking to go out or something else. Or they are just fighting or I don't know. If you have cats, you can understand me. I'm sorry, the live stream was interrupted for some reason, I don't know, but I'm lucky that I was able to resume it. You know, it looks good so far, so I think I will not be outlining at all. I will leave it as it is. What do you think? Would you outline it? I think it looks, looks okay and no outlining needed, right? Somebody is asking questions about um, about my Patreon program. So she's asking if I join the join the class, are the videos available all the time? I'm mm -hmm. so all those videos which I'm recording, they are available all the time on Patreons. Since you have access to since since you are subscribed and you can log in and have access to to the content all my videos are available for all tiers for five dollars ten dollar tiers and um, for all of the tiers and they are available all the time but pattern instructions uh, they are available only during the current months so Pattern instructions, articles with instructions for 
for this corals pattern will be available during during all the months during June. And then in the end of the month, what I do is I'm making PDF pattern and all the pattern details are going to be in this PDF. And I'm sending this PDF to you if you are subscribed for $10 tiers or for, for a monthly kit. So I'm sending it you to your email and this is yours forever. But in the beginning of the next month, I'm removing articles with pattern and I start adding add articles for the next project. So this is how it works on Patreon. And also PDF pattern is available on is going to be available on my Etsy shop in the end of the month. Uh, basically in the beginning of next month. But during the June it's available only on Patreon and Kit as well. So this is how it works if you are not interested. If you are new here and you don't know anything about my Patreon program. And regarding the kids, they are all available and I'm shipping them wor worldwide so you can join from any country. This is fully international. But the only one thing that I have to say that regarding the shipping the standard shipping is not fast right now at all usually it was usually you could get your kit during after two or three weeks in many cases it you you could get it in two weeks but now it, it it goes so long it it goes two months and for countries like Spain or Brazil Cuba and Japan probably it will be it will take long time about two months to get the kit but for countries like United States, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Canada, Australia, you can get your kit in two or three weeks. I'm using different uh, shipping shipping type type for those uh, countries, and unfortunately, it's not available for other countries. But I hope that it's temporary issue and when all this situation this virus will will be resolved everything will be back to normal. Okay, I switch it to to the bright pink color and I'm about to finish this part. So, how many times did I switch? It's about one hour and ten minutes. So, we have few more 
branches left. So I think one more hour and I will finish this coral. And I will try to go live tomorrow. I will shadow live stream for tomorrow as well. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification to get notifications. And I also make stories in my uh, Instagram and you can set notification there as well. And there will be alarm and you will be notified about my live stream. So you will not miss it next time. I will keep this live stream, live stream available on public um, during 24 hours. In, in case if you want to replay it, you will be able to do it today. And then I will make it unlisted and it will be available only on Patreon. Okay, cool. I just finished this part. I think it looks nice. If you want to make outlining, I would like you to use this dark shade. You can use one strand if you want to make outlining and go outside using a back stitch or split stitch, whatever you like. But I think I will leave it as it is, it looks nice. Okay, I will finish my live stream here and I wish you uh, a great rest of your day or a great day <laughs> if you just woke up and I will see you tomorrow tomorrow I think I will stitch this coral and I'm going to use French knots only I saw on Pinterest some corals stitched this way and it looks really really great so I, I'm, I want to try it It's gonna look cool. Okay, bye guys. It was nice to speak with you. Uh, I hope you to see you tomorrow.